what I remember the fondest about Coach Berticelli was that he could get the most out, out of anyone. He, he was more sincere. He was more um, hospitable. He was more warm. Uh, when he talked to you, uh, you could see that he was honest. I think because he could influence people and whether he would have done that in business or coaching or anything else, I think he liked seeing himself have a positive effect on other people. He was the kind of guy you could tell right off. His family was first, uh, but his life in soccer was probably equal to. He got the opportunity to bring a group of guys in and really help them become better men more than anything else, really help them mature and become good people. And I think he enjoyed you know, watching people do that, and come back and see them when they were older and know that he really had an effect on their lives positively. And Very motivational, always pushing you to stretch and strive for things that if you left to yourself, you, you may not have achieved. But he was always pushing people to, uh, to make themselves better. What I remember the most was the role that he played as a father for uh, his players and his teams. And a lot of people looked at him not only as a coach, but as a role model and uh, someone who they could rely on you know, for a lot of things in life. So. Push up, Billy. Push up, Billy. Push up. Now you gotta be there. You know, when it was time to be serious and for him to really to get through to you, he was just the best at doing that. I think the guys that played for him would say, you know, and I just heard Garrick say to us outside that the time he got through to us most is when he never had to raise his voice. He, he, had, he had such a, a deep love for Notre Dame uh, and, and a, a deep caring for his players as well. And you could really tell that the success of his players on the field and off the field is what was paramount for him. And there was no second guessing that prided himself on and the whole program did was bringing in um, players and individuals who uh, were good people and you know did good things for people around them. I think it was the way he would just look at the players in the eyes and you could see that he had that love and passion about the game and also about loving these kids. It's, these kids were like his own. Come on, Irish, let's go. Three, two, one. Irish. He was just a special guy. Gosh, I can't believe it's been 12 years since he died. But you remember a guy like this forever. It, it just doesn't leave you. But I think what you know that brought back to me was the importance to have passion and caring for what you do. You know, loving what you do every single day. But at the end of the day, even if you know you're um, you know yelling at a referee or if you're coaching, it all comes back to you know a smile and a handshake and being able to relate to those people afterwards. I, I think first and foremost that the players who come through Notre Dame uh, still learn about Coach Berticelli. Uh, what, what he felt, the love he felt for the program, the love he felt for the players, and how much he cared uh, for both is, is what makes me feel that this is such a special tournament. And he was a special person and I think that uh, you know loyalty and all the things that meant more to him than anything else are the things that Notre Dame stands for. Um, and I think he felt that and thought that and that was part of the reason why we came here and then obviously it's just affected our family tremendously and my brother and I and my mom and all of us and um, you know I think he kind of knew that.